Jared West now. If you have a question, please drop a note in the chat. Go ahead, Brett. Hey, Jared. Um, what, what was behind the start that you guys got off to, falling behind by 19 early, and, and maybe what changed during that second half? Um, I think the start was pretty much a result of our lack of uh, energy to start the game and effort to start the game defensively. Um, they are way too comfortable. They, uh, they ran the offense that we prepared for. We knew that they were going to run. They didn't do anything different. And uh, we didn't do a good job of executing defensively. Um, it was our energy, our effort, our communication. Um, it wasn't good enough. And uh, I really don't think we were uh, awake enough to start the game from a defensive standpoint more than anything um, until late in the first half. But anytime you're playing against a team like Virginia, a good team, well-coached team with good players, it's hard, to, it's hard to come back with their style of play getting down 18 or 19 early. So um, I thought we did a much better job in the second half of just uh, fighting. We played harder. Um, we were ready to go from the from the jump to start the half. And, um, you know, that we just played with more energy and more effort in the second half. And that really, that's really what it comes down to. Given the, what you guys have been going through lately, how do you explain the, the lack of energy at the start? Um... I really don't know, honestly. I, I can't put it. I can't pinpoint it on on one thing. Um, I can't pinpoint it on one person. You know, I, I will say I feel like I need to step up from a leadership standpoint, whether uh, it's being more vocal, um, being more energetic before the game. Um, whatever it is, though, um, it, it's got to change because it's you know that, that it, it's put, it just put us in a hole that it's hard to come back from. You know, at the end of the day, we. We as players got to um, hold ourselves accountable and understand that we're playing against good players and we're playing against good teams. And when you when you let teams get comfortable and you dig yourself a hole like that, it's hard to come back and win. Go to Michael and then Eric. Hey, Jared, Michael McCann, Cardinal Authority. Not to harp on that, but when, when you're going through those struggles and we saw it in the second half against Notre Dame, um, what, what do you guys as, as teammates say to each other in the huddle or when you're on the floor to try to snap yourselves out of it. Is there any common thread there at all? Um, I think there's a lot of dialogue in the huddles, certainly about what we can do on the defensive end. Sometimes it's just, you know, scheme oriented as far as like what they're doing and how we can um, counteract what they're doing and be better prepared for it. But also, you know, positive energy at the end of the day is what it came down to. I really feel like in the second half, we did a much better job of that. I feel like our bench and the guys that um, running the game. Even the guys that were sitting down in the huddle did a much better job of keeping a positive energy, keeping high spirits, talking, being vocal. Um, but again, when you're down 25 to 8 on the road um, against a team like that, it's really hard to get back into it. Eric? Jared, I thought even despite the start and everything else, you guys are down 4 and you get a really good look on a little floater that I thought was in and it rolls out next trip down Matt wide open three he gets a good look at it just doesn't go um you know what I know it's a matter of frustration because you make those shots it's an entirely different game coming down the stretch uh how do you how do you deal with that just just bouncing back time after time and and what's going to go into kind of overcoming that kind of thing yeah I thought both of those were going in I thought my floater was down I thought Matt's three was down and uh if I could take that floater again and Matt could take that open three again, I'd do it in a heartbeat. So, um, obviously, it's frustrating, but I think that's um, even more of a time and opportunity where we're down four on the road. Um, we missed a couple shots that we we liked, and we got to buckle down on defense, and we got to buckle down on getting a defense rebound once we get the stop. And uh, I can't remember exactly what happened on the on those next couple of plays, but I want to say it was a four run. So instead of cutting it to four, it went to eight or nine. And uh, 
you know that that's that's just it's just part of the game man you know ma making shots and missing shots is part of the game i missed a shot matt missed a shot they scored both trips down lead goes from four to or deficit goes from four to eight like that or four to nine whatever it was and i mean again you put yourself in a, a bigger hole with more of a deficit so we got to buckle down defensively whether we're scoring making shots being efficient not playing well whatever it is it comes down to our defense and our rebounding Last question from Kent. Jared, when you were at, at Marshall, have you ever gone through a season like you guys are, are currently going through? And, and what can you pinpoint to, to all this? Uh, I mean, certainly been on losing streaks and uh, times where we've lost some tough games, times we've lost home games. So there's uh, definitely been in those, in those locker rooms for sure. Um, there's definitely a frustration and disappointment there, but uh, you know you got to rely on your leadership and you got to rely on the team to stick together, the coaches to stick together, and uh, you know continue to fight and continue to work every day. You know it's 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 a long season. We still got like 10, 10 games left, something like that, and uh, you know anything can happen. So we just got to keep working. We got to stick. We got to stick together. We got to continue to trust in our system and. You know, just continue to get better every day. We, the last thing we can do is give up. We're not going to do that. Um, I know Coach Mack's not going to give up on his team, our players. Um, we're not going to give up on each other. So we just got to continue to fight, continue to bring it every day. Thank you, Jared. We'll be back with Coach shortly.